Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting solution from Shelly. This is the Shelly Flood, which is a sensor that will give us two situations. One of which is water. When it enters contact with water, it will give us a warning. But it also measures temperature, which is really cool if you have your floor or temperature controlled and you want to know the temperature that your floor is, this will give us the temperature as well. So this might be a great solution for that. We just put it beneath the couch and there we go. We have one temperature sensor right over there. We can put it on another room and another one in another room and we'll have full control of the temperature of that particular room. In my particular case, I'll be using near the pool. This is the swimming pool pump area and when it rains, some of the water will go down. I then have a pump right over there which will pump the water here and then I've got two bigger pumps right over here which collect water from the backyard and just pump it up and the Shelly will go right there. So that in the winter I have an extra layer of security in terms of floods on that area. Now in terms of the function we can open this up and put in a battery which is a CR123A and here where I live in Portugal it's quite expensive one of which costs six euros but this pack of eight and I will leave a link down below costs roughly 12 to 13 euros more or less so it's really really worth it and they last for a long time actually about 18 months here on the Shelly flood now I'm not really sure if it is waterproof or not but we will be testing in just one minute in terms of configuration really easy with the Shelly app which is really complete as you guys know we have a lot of devices right over here but before we move on just a shout out to the sponsor of this video which is BH software a platform that we have been using for the past few months to get Windows 10 Windows 11 home edition of Pro Edition keys at a budget and even Office 2021. We have tested them all really easy to purchase and really easy to activate. So if you are on the market for that, I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. Now, in terms of the configuration, really easy. Just open the app like any other Shelly device adds that device and in about one minute or so we have it working and i actually did configure to give me notifications but i did discover later on which is not necessary because automatically when detects water will give me a notification I did do a video and I will leave a link right over here exclusively on how we can create several notifications on temperature where I can be notified if this room gets hotter than 30 degrees or lower than 20 or something like that. We can create a lot of scenarios and create a lot of notifications. So I do do that, but it is automatic. Now, what we are going to do is to test right over here. And before we do, I already tested it out. What happens is that when these metal pins right over here get in contact with water, it will emit a beep and it will send us a notification to the phone. Later on, we will put a little bit more water to see the behavior that it has. And that being said, let's go and I'll put the phone and let's drop some water. There we go, we have <laughs> triggered the alarm uh, and there we go, we just received a notification and probably you are seeing two, one of which was created by me, the other one is by default. It will uh, shut down after a few seconds, but if it remains underwater, what happens is that um, it will go on and give us another round of warning and another notification and so on and so forth. So at this moment it stopped, it will detect that has no water, so we'll be okay. But if it keeps on a place with water, which I'm not really sure if it has enough, like this it has, it will keep on beeping and on beeping. Now, one of the things that I'm not really sure is that if it's completely waterproof, because I haven't seen in any information about that. I know it has a rubber right over here, so it should be. But one thing that might be interesting is that if the water level goes up and up and up, what happens basically is that it will 
float. So let's put in some more water. And yes, it will it will float even with a lot of water. If I push it a little bit down, occasionally we see a few air bubbles, but I believe that are air bubbles that are on the bottom and come to the top. So even if we push it down, it seems that keeps on working without any issues. At this moment it's completely submerged and now and completely dry on the outside and completely dry on the inside. Just great. So I do believe that we will be okay and it makes sense to be okay and it is quite smart that it will float but I did push it under and I had no issues because, as we can see, we have this rubber protection right over there which will um, make contact with this area and will prevent water to get in. So this is just a great result. And that is it. Hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.